let's continue our education on the topic of digestive tract. And the topic of today is digestion in the mouth. And we will be talking about digestion of carbohydrates. And um, we will be talking about mechanical digestion in, by means of teeth and chemical by saliva. If you do not break carbohydrates in your mouth, you will create a problem. And the problem will be gas and bloating. Explanation. So let's start with chemical digestion. Saliva has alpha amylase. It's an enzyme that will break down this long, long, long glycogen molecules. It will break them. Chap, chap right here and chap right here and will create dextrin, maltose, and isomaltose. Digestion of sugar will continue in small intestine by pancreatic amylase. And those bigger particles will continue uh, being broken by alpha amylase of a pancreatic gland into smaller particles in threes and twos. And finally, the, by the brush butter enzymes, I named them right here on the left, you will break down um, uh, sugar into smallest particles. And this is essential part to understand those smallest particles, only them will get absorbed through the digestive tract in the bloodstream. And they are glucose, fructose, galactose, maltose, and multitriose. Now let's go for the further explanation. Uh, by the way, this is my acid course that comes with first three coaching session. As always, I pre-drew the picture of our digestive tract here with the mouse, and this is your teeth. And you will put those long, long chain of carbohydrates. And by the way, carbohydrates are not only um, sugar that would you, you eat like table sugar, cookies, cakes, it's a bread, pizza, pasta. There is carbohydrate in uh, meat, in dairy products. The carbohydrates are everywhere. And as you bring it into your mouth, you start to break them down chemically right here by the uh, uh, amylase. And the uh, shorter chains, like in three or four, will end up here in the stomach. There is no digestion or breaking down of uh, uh, sugar in the stomach, and it will move out of the stomach. This is the pillarus here into small intestines. Let's see, it's one, two, three, four of them. And here, by the effect of pancreatic amylase, they will get broken further down into two and threes. And digest digestive enzymes of the brush border of a small intestine will break down them finally into individual pieces of sugar. That's what you want. That's what exactly you will absorb through the digestive tract. And it will go straight into your bloodstream. This is your piece of glucose. This is your bloodstream. Okay, and this is the piece of glucose that will be floating here. And this is the piece of, let's say, um, galactose or fructose. So individual pieces will be uh, floating here. So what I want also to say, let's, Let's draw a little bit different. Let's draw a piece of small intestine for the explanation. So this is the small intestine and it's lined by cells called enterocytes. Those enterocytes, and this is the lumen. So this is the enterocytes lying here. And this is the pieces of sugar coming in, carbohydrates, okay? So those enzymes will break down finally uh, sugar into individual parts. Let's say this is glucose. And those enterocytes, they have actually carriers that will take this piece of sugar inside the cell. So for the, for the glucose, it's called uh, GLUT1. For the galactose, it's going to be GLUT2. And for uh, uh, fructose, GLUT5. They will take them, they will transport them through the cell. And only then, will release into the bloodstream. If you don't break into this individual piece of sugar, those pieces, those two pieces, they just cannot, they just cannot go through the, through the cell. They will be staying here in the digestive tract. And guess what? Our digestive tract is full of bugs and full of fungal, fungus. And those bugs love sugars. When they eat sugar, they will start to reproduce. And when they reproduce, they, they eat that sugar and they will create gas. That's where is your gasiness coming from. That's the Buddha belly, what we call it, the belly that extends enormously. 
So basically, you are creating in your digestive tract gas here because the sugar is not broken down and it stays here. And it's fermentation process. And when fermentation starts, a lot of gas comes out. Now we are going to talk about mechanical breaking down, mechanically breaking down carbohydrate and breaking down food, how it's important. Mouse has teeth and you're supposed to use them. So here is, I have with me example of carbohydrate that you're supposed to break down with your teeth. And many uh, people love to have bread and all kinds of um, crunchy stuff. So they, they uh, toast the bread or they like to have fried meat. So when you fry, you also create this wonderful crust. And I mean, crust is really hard. Like, listen to that, right? So that's, that's the crust. Uh, crunchy granola, all oh, that have to be crunchy. God save it's not, if it's uh, um, soggy. Grilled meat, they all hard like that. So when, if you don't break down this piece of bread with your teeth, what happened, unbroken pieces, little pieces, and they have sharp edges, they will edges, they will go into your stomach, they will go through the your esophagus. And if you have even a little bit irritation and inflammation, they, they will scratch it and they will create for them more pain. Think about it. Like, for example, you have a gastritis. What's the gastritis? It's an inflammation. You have esophagus, it's inflammation. It's the same inflammation. Like you may have an inflammation right here on your hand. Like you scratch it, you scratch it, it starts to bleed a little bit. That's the inflammation, right? Now, what you do with this inflammation, you put this piece of bread or, or crunchy granola that it's not broken down by the teeth and you, you scratch that, right? This is like, it's going to be painful. That's what you are doing to your digestive tract when you are not, chewing your food 33 times. So guys, remember, chew your food 33 times to break down this really hard pieces and also to use the saliva to break down the sugars to make sure that bacteria does not get them. Otherwise, bacteria, fungus will eat it and you will have candida uh, eating all of the sugar and you will just have white fun and you will, you will be gassy. Please chew your food 33 times. Bye-bye for now.